So now we're gonna do the other sonar sensor, the right sonar sensor. So we already had the left sonar sensor hooked up. Now we're gonna hook up the other one and we're gonna have both sonar sensors hooked up. That means we need the same types of wires as we needed before. Um, we need the red, blue, yellow, and black female male wires. The red and black are already hooked up to the breadboard, so we don't need that. We need the partially assembled robot. We need the both sonars printing diagram. So we're going to go to File, Open, then wherever the challenge bot directory is, go to Build Stages, and then see both sonars, and then both sonars.fcz. Open. And then we also need the sketch, the Arduino sketch for both sonars. So left sonar is open right now. We're going to want to make sure that we close that. But first open, so file, sketchbook, C, both sonars, and then close this so they don't fight with each other. So we should have only both sonars open and no other window. Okay. So now we're going to hook stuff up just the same as before. Um, we're going to have red at the bottom now, actually, because um, of the, so that the pins are on the inside. This is flipped upside down. And the sonar sensor actually has the labels down here. They're not quite Oops. focusing, but they're there. Yeah. So you can see them then. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the lowest one says VCC, then the next one up says trig, then the next one up says echo. Oh. It's almost focused. Nope, not quite. Uh, okay. Anyway, you can see it here. Yeah. Or maybe you can't see it there either. Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, so this sonar opposite direction. So red on bottom, then blue right on top of that, then yellow right on top of that. Can you see it in? Oh, uh, the yellow one, I mean the, the one, the blue that you just put in, the okay. metal tab is not facing oh. this way. Thank you for noticing. That metal tab is important. There you go. You want to be able to poke at it with a multimeter later, if necessary. And then yellow echo is on top of that. And then black ground is on top of that. Awesome. Cool. And then just like before, we're going to plug the red wire into the power on the breadboard. Oh, this... hey, now the labels are showing up pretty good down there. <laughs> oh, cool. Anyway. Okay, so on the printing diagram, you can see the red wire goes into the power on the breadboard. And then it's on the third pin down there, so I'm just going to copy that. It's not, like, critical that it matches exactly, but it's kind of nice for instructional purposes. Keep that um, metal tab accessible. And then the black is going to go to the ground on the breadboard. Right there metal tab accessible. Okay, that is all the wiring that's necessary for that sensor. So now we're just gonna plug in the Arduino and test it out. Nope. Nope. The six and seven, the and echo. Then? Oh echo yeah, you're right. The <laughs> right. Uh, trigger is um, seven, which you can see on the printing diagram. So trigger is seven, echo is six. And then we can see the same thing on the both sketches. So right echo pin is six and right trigger pin is seven. So I have the trigger pin here, which is blue, and I'm gonna plug that into seven. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plugged into seven and then the echo pin, which is yellow, is six. Ooh. Okay. Yep. Cool. That is actually all the wiring. Okay. Okay. Um, so now we're going to plug in the Arduino. Plugged in, power's on, and now we're going to upload the code with this upload button right here. It's doing stuff. Once it's done, it will say thank you. And then we'll go up to the serial monitor on the upper right, click the magnifying glass. And here we have some output. So now we no longer see the pin time ping time, we just see the left distance on the left and the right distance on the right. Um, the right distance when I'm not in front of it is like a hundred centimeters and then when I put my hand in front of it, it goes down to three or four centimeters. And when I take my hand away, 
it goes back up to 100-ish. So that sonar sensor is working. And we can do the same with the left sonar sensor, but it should work since it worked before. So I'm gonna put, gonna put my hand on right now. There we go. Then take my 